Hey guys, I'm back at NAMM 2020. This is the biggest music gear conference in the world. And so what I'm doing is I'm combing through the, these three full buildings of gear to find the most unique things that I can find. This is my top five favorite things I saw at NAMM 2020. At number five, this is the M board by Alpha Piano. They make some really high-end keyboards that look like they come from the future. The keys are about the same size as a full-size piano and feel nice and smooth. This instrument resembles the Roly C board in that you can also bend notes by sliding your fingers upwards. While it hasn't been released yet, when I asked how much something like this would go for, they told me around $15,000. That's a hefty price tag for a keyboard. Nonetheless, it was really cool to play around with. At the number four spot is the Piano Arc. I've seen this piano online in videos, but never experienced it in real life. This is the 294 key circular piano made by Lady Gaga's pianist, Brockett Parsons. It's got more than three pianos worth of keys and is definitely a handful to play. When I jumped on, I saw that it had three different sounds to play with, denoted by three different LED strips. And at the same time, I found it kind of difficult to get used to. It's great that you don't have to have three tiers of keyboard anymore, and it also looks super cool when you're playing it. Number three, Meet the Orba by Artifon, a super portable synth, looper, and MIDI controller in this tiny instrument that fits perfectly in your hand. I got to hang out with Adam from Artifon, who showed me a bunch of the features. I'll show you another gesture is... The whole oh, thing is wow. I was curious what it would be like to play two of them at the same time. You might be the first person to ever try this. What's cool about this instrument is that anyone can play it and it's super portable. You guys know me, I like portable instruments now since my regular instrument isn't really portable. Number two is not from the future, it's actually more than 50 years old. This is a 1963 Mellotron. While I have heard of this thing, I never fully understood what it does. The Mellotron was made in England back in 1963 and it was considered an electromechanical instrument. It's pretty much one of the first sampler instruments ever made. It uses the same concept as a sampler, but generates sound using analog samples recorded on audio tape. So you can see every single note has an eight second recording of an instrument. That's wild and a lot of work to do. Replaying a tape creates a minor fluctuation in the pitch, so a note sounds slightly different or even wobbly. This thing was so cool to play in real life, and I highly recommend if you get a chance to play one of these, you have to check it out. Number one. I walked into the piano room and stumbled into a small bunch of people crowded around none other than Jesus Molina. This guy has taken Instagram by storm and is blowing up. He is insanely fast and dexterous when it comes to the keys. A few other recognizable faces showed up as well, and it was really fun to watch. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm back in New York. I had such a great time at NAMM 2020. I'm curious to find out which one of those videos is your favorite. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.
Thank you.